Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. So you take one of those black things that look like plates and you put it on here. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Rim gets natural moonlight, so something to complement that, maybe? Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. Purple. <laughs> really? What? I like purple. Shouldn't you like it too? Violet? I'll make it happen. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh, yeah. The old music teacher was a big fan. Pretty cool guy up until he ditched us all. What's jazz sound like? Uh, that one's hard to describe. Mm, just wait till you hear it. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Uh, is it me, or is there a bit of a bomb obsession at this school? Oh, it's not you. There totally is. But for good reason! The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. All the best bombs have names. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. 
I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. <laughs> I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. You'd think so, but nope. Really? The person in the file? <laughs> Imagine Marlin times another Marlin. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Yeah, you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh... You ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. You used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Monic masturbation. Trust me. Nobody wanted to know that. What does that mean? Uh-uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kinds of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? Sure, we've heard enough of this. Throw some country on. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Aaron. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. 
I just feel really weird and turn up the volume, you know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher the real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand and uh, use that to push the trigger in so yeah bang right her body folded up and just kept rocking my mom came to get me five hours later I hadn't moved she asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like, what you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry. This is supposed to be fun. I'm, I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known how. He liked that one. You could just sing it to us like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, I, uh, I can do that.
Hey, sweet pea. Lee? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me. And I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. You kind of had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world. And you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. You were a handful. But I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart, but I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. Yeah, I made it this far, didn't I? You sure did. When a lot of other people couldn't. Never give in, Clem. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue him. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? It was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl who loves you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. Kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. AJ's amazing, Lee. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am? Just look at 
at you. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at you. I know I told you I'd always keep moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I... I have a home now. Then you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Goodbye, Lee. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey... Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. You know, they could be your friends, too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But it does sound nice. Let me think about it. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death. And suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison, and I believed in that fiercely. So much so, 
that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him, didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. That's, that's kind of hard to believe. Doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore, but it was. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed, and no one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them, of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that, from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just, I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change, not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died and Minnie is one of them now. Just, if you see her out there, Tell her, tell her I forgive her, please. I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. We gotta move. Clem? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or a Sim. Omar. I, I, I really care about you, Clem. If something happened to you because of me, I can't lose you too. I won't. You better not disappear on me, okay? I promise. <laughs> what are you doing? Look in another direction. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. So, 
I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. Get my back. Thanks. We gonna do it? We're doing it. 